The year is 1989. Nintendo had built an empire. They ruled the video game industry almost entirely unopposed. It may be the most addictive toy in history. Nintendo video games. It has cornered over 90% of the video game market. That all changed when the Sega Nation attacked. Led by Sonic the Hedgehog, they began a 16-bit revolution into the next generation of gaming with their ultimate weapon, the Genesis. This year, Nintendo may be up against some serious competition. They've got the 16-bit system. Yeah. Nintendo doesn't have it here until next fall. Better graphics, more levels of play, better animation on the screen. Nintendo, however, does not plan to relinquish any ground. The only hope for the NES would be great new games in time for the holiday season. I have to live with my kids for the rest of the year, so I have to have this on Christmas Day. But Japan was still recovering from the 1988 ROM chip famine. The latest batch of games were delayed until next year. This Christmas could be Nintendo's last. Some toy industry analysts think so. The world thought Nintendo was finished, while Sega prepared to claim victory, boasting its triumph in ad after ad. Genesis! Duh! Genesis! Duh! Genesis! Duh! Genesis! Duh! Genesis! Duh! Genesis! Duh! Genesis system by Sega. But they were all of them deceived. For another ad was made. On December 15, 1989, Nintendo unleashed a 90-minute feature-length commercial that would unveil the one game to rule them all. The Wizard gave North America its first look at Super Mario Bros. 3. Yeah, there had been some screenshots going around, but this was the first time seeing actual footage of it in action. And there were so many surprises. There's a map now? We can fly? And what's this slot machine thing? Cool! And there's also these kids running around trying to win a video game tournament while their families chase them across the country, but who cares about that? Look at the game! It's even got secret warp whistles! That's the magic flute! Warp whistle. It's a warp whistle, and it's just one of the many new items and power-ups that made this the best-selling game of all time for years. This was when it got real, guys. Super Mario Bros. 3 made it clear Nintendo was here not only to stay, but to stay on top. And this kind of strategy can be seen even today. You know, for the past few years, I thought Nintendo's been kind of snoozing along, delaying Zelda over and over again. But then BOOM! Everyone's hooked on Pokemon Go! BAM! They're releasing a mini NES just in time for the holiday season, and then WHAMMO! KAPOW! The double whammy of launching the new NX console with the most epic Zelda ever? The Super Mario creator, Shigeru Miyamoto, worked closely with designers and programmers, encouraging a free interchange of ideas. And that's what I'm all about! So today, we're paying tribute to this 8-bit masterpiece and Miyamoto's way of thinking. Let's dive in. Once you have all your pieces ironed, put some heavy books on top of them to keep them flat while they cool. Now let's paint our canvas. It's 16 by 20 inches. Start with a dark blue, and focus on covering the top corners to the center of the bottom of the canvas, leaving that upside down white triangle in the middle. Then use a lighter blue to help blend the transition there. Once it dries, take all your items and arrange them on the canvas. First, glue down the pieces that are going right on the background. Then use some pieces of black foam core to raise up certain items. It gives your piece a nice depth effect. Focus on going down one row at a time. Finally, I'll add the text. And there we go. 
A really cool tribute with a positive message. I know these days, think outside the box might sound like some sort of cliche corporate jargon you'd hear from an executive in a boardroom meeting. But think about Shigeru Miyamoto and really take this message to heart. Try new ideas, look around, see what other people are doing, and take it a step further. Countless perler artists before me have made fire flowers, stars, and mushrooms, of course. These things are like a rite of passage in this craft. But think about what you can do to set yourself apart. Or put your own spin on these classic sprites. Combine them, experiment with them, turn them into something. I have no doubt some of you watching will be able to come up with much better stuff than me. And I look forward to seeing it. If you enjoyed this video, you can do me a favor and hit that like button down there. That really helps out the channel a lot. As always, thank you so much for watching, my friends. I'll see you next time. It's a warp whistle, and it's just one of the many. Magic it's a warp whistle. Magic it's a warp whistle. Magic warp whistle.